pulse amplitude modulation this is the most simple form of uh, signal modulation whereby the message signal is encoded in the amplitude of a series of signal pulses i would explain this by means of one plot consider that this is our message signal m of t and this is p a m pulse amplitude modulated signal so what we do is we generate an impulse train multiplied the message signal with that impulse train and eventually we will reach here right so in short this is uh, an analog pulse modulation scheme in which the amplitudes of a periodic pulse train are varied according to the sample values at particular instant of the message signal so this means that uh, the amplitude of this pulse train is varying with respect to the message signal and it is relayed over here right and for the generation we have original signal periodic pulse train and the pam signal the width and position of the pulses in pam is identical that is though the amplitude is varying the position is at a certain time period ts and this is our time period so the pulse would be appearing after that specific time period t as the amplitude is varying but the position is consistent with respect to the sampling time period of the impulse train also note that the width is consistent so one major advantage is that each pulse is valid within its allocated time ts as mentioned over here so by this what we mean is that no matter what whatever the amplitude is that amplitude would be relayed over here but this would not be affecting on other pulses so it would be just simply available over here and the value of the amplitude would increase or decrease according to the message signal but this is also a disadvantage the disadvantage is that if you if you're sending the pam signal over the channel so this means that you have sent this by means of an antenna over a channel and then you're going to receive it so if this channel is time varying this would mean that the amplitude these amplitudes would be changed and if these amplitudes will change we know that the information that is the message signal is embedded in the amplitude of pam signal so if the amplitude changes we cannot recover back our original message signal so we would have uh, some issues in terms of detection an emerging application of pm is uh, with its uh, conjunction with rapid switching speed of leds so by means of uh, led bulbs we can uh, transfer wireless data at very high speed next we would look into the generation of pm in a simulink environment so in the simulation setup for pam represented over here i have a simple sine wave and this is a signal generator so i have used a sine wave with amplitude of 0.9 and frequency of 1 radians per second this can be obtained by using a simulink library block right and i have used a pulse generator and for that i have set the amplitude to 1 and uh, the time period to 0.5 seconds furthermore uh, i have set the pulse width that would reflect on the duty cycle which is set to 25% of the original period right so the sine wave and the pulse generator are multiplied by using the product block right now the output of the product is basically a pam signal so let us look into this setup so we have a sine wave and then we have a pulse generator wave uh, wave form which is shown over here so if we multiply the sine function with uh, a rectangular function train 
so we would have a PAM signal here in the amplitude of each pulse is dependent on the amplitude of the message signal M of T and hence based on this we would have a signal which has this amplitude so for detection we may use an impulse response which is zero order first order or an infinity order hold